Greetings and welcome to the Commonwealth of Kentucky as we're in Bowling Green where four of the best junior girls remain, all of them in search of what would be the biggest win of their career. There's been a lot already happening, Kay. Some highlights from earlier today. Match number one, Gianna Clemente, the 14-year-old. This for birdie at the second. So important to strike first and get up in the match forcing your opponent to have to win two holes to regain a lead. And Clemente continued to roll along in the front nine. This for birdie at seven. It goes taking a four up lead over Maria Jose Marin from Colombia. 15 feet for her birdie. 130 to this whole location. Plays 10 up from the fairway. This is such a dramatic par four with that completely blind shot to that really elevated green. Roll right to left the whole way. Slightly uphill. She's been really good with her speed control today. And there's another display of that great speed control. A yeah, huge opportunity for her to win her first hole. Really good effort. So a couple of pars there at 10. That whole tie, Clemente remains four up. Clemente on the tee at 11. Maintaining the honors here. She's just trying to keep this up the left side, left center of this fairway. She's done a good job. Miss these fairways, or it is hard to miss these fairways. This is on another good line, and this is a hole where Maria can take advantage of her distance. She hits it pretty far. All right, be a wedge contest between those two here at 11. Two holes in a row where you can't see the surface of the green as you're hitting into it. And that was, that was beautifully done. Gets that to sit down nicely and spin down, utilize that slope very well. Clip that nicely. Well, that's the, the angle that she was looking for that Julia described. She just would have liked to have been much closer. Might help her to turn the tables here a little bit. Looks like setting up for a little left to right break. Oh, and it broke more, quite a bit. This would be for her sixth birdie today through 11 holes should this fall. Oh, such confidence. She hit that with good authority and that had three to four inches of break. And there is birdie. Six through the first 11 holes. Clemente now five up with seven to go. Yeah, there, there's some low-lying trees down there in the horizon that kind of make a U-shape, and hitting right at those is a really good line. And just airing to the right is okay. There's plenty of room over there. But she's in such a groove right now that she's just swinging so freely. And I think oh, in the past, when I thought about the times I was significantly down in the match, I just thought, let's see how far we can take this match. Let's see how close to 18 we can get. Because sometimes it feels a little embarrassing to be that much down and to lose by a large margin. So she wants to push that match. Over to 12, second for Clemente. 122 to this whole location. The ball is slightly above her feet, so it'll help her draw this oh. ball. <laughs> There's another one. Wow. Yeah. These That's greens right. are in such great shape. And Sitting, like Kay said, and I, I think Marin knows she's got to do something really special here. 
115. She left that out a little to the right. But again, there's a little mini bowl effect where if you... For Marin. And uh, yeah, just walks that one in. And that is exactly what she needed to do. Get that birdie in first. Clementi for birdie to tie the hole. Just a short one here. And she hit that very aggressively, very confidently. Would seven, you expect anything right? else? Seven birdies and 12 holes <laughs> for Clementi. He had 13 with Clementi. Just 130. There's a lot of room to the right of this hole location that she's just trying to keep it out to the right. Give herself a good look at this putt. She did a good job of that. Yeah, really accessible, uh, easy hole location at the very front of the screen. Marin at 13. She's got to take green light here. And this is on a good line. Might be a little long. Shot. Yeah, that's OK. It's a little past the hole, but that's not a bad place to putt from. Analysts mm. have participated in this drive, chip, and putt. Clementi for birdie at 13. Just 10 feet here. She's looking out to the right. So we'll swing a little to her left. Eight birdies in 13 she, holes. She is incredible how she's reading these greens and dealing with, with several inches of break. Great putt either. This will be working downhill. Right to left the whole way. Just the added pressure knowing that this could be your last putt. Well, it's it's do or die. There's no coming back the next day in match play. She just got schooled today by a birdie machine. Yeah. Steamrolled is sort of what popped mm -hmm. in my head, and I say that with all due respect when a 14-year-old in Gianna four, Clemente. Three. Clemente wins the hole in the match, six and five. What do you think the key was out there today for you? Um, you know, for me, it was just kind of staying confident, staying aggressive. Um, I didn't do that so well in the morning match. Um, and I got away with it. So, um, you know, I told my caddy, told my dad, I'm just going to, like, go out there and try to make every putt. And, you know, they all fell. It's not always going to be like that. But it's always nice when, you know, you make a lot of birdies. <laughs> yeah, you finished early today. You get to go home and rest a little bit. How hard has it been this week to stay in it, stay restful when it's so much golf? Oh, it's definitely difficult. Um, I'm definitely a little sleep deprived. But um, I think I'm just, like, high on adrenaline right now. Um, and I'm so excited for tomorrow. So I'm going to go home, try and get a little bit of rest before tomorrow. But um, I know it's going to be an another early wake-up call. So um, I'm just really excited. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Take a look at the second match. Sarah M going up against Yana Wilson. This was M for birdie at the six to go, two up. Yeah, and looking like she has pretty good control of this match at this point, starting off just like she would like. But Wilson hanging in for birdie at seven to cut that deficit in half. Yeah, the, the second of three par fives on this front nine. That would go, but Wilson was far from done. They figured out some type of handshake there. How about this tee shot at the short par three eight? Yeah, a cute little hole today with the tees moved forward just 104 yards. And, and Yana oh. dialed that in, almost making a hole in one. What a shot. Thought about going in for an ace. She would win the hole, tying the match up. Kind of like that. <laughs> that looked pretty high, long, and straight. And that is over the bunkers in perfect position in the fairway. Upper hand right now. I think it's a little too early. However, I would say the momentum has shifted to Yana Wilson's hand. And, and you know this better than anyone, Amelia. This game, this match play game is all about momentum and carrying momentum or switching momentum. This green, this flag is sitting all the way back in the green, 29 paces back, 35 yards of depth. So you don't want to go long, but there's plenty of room short and left to work with. This is on a really good line. Oh, that was a gorgeous shot. And let me correct myself. They're hitting off of perfect zoysia fairways to just ideal bent grass greens.
think if you can miss it on the left-hand side of this hole, it's a little better. Now, that was a pretty brave shot going behind the hole. This just inside of 10 feet for birdie. Not doing a whole lot here. Now, it doesn't look like she's playing for much break at all. Claw grip with the, the putter. And she almost looked like she pushed that a little bit. Sort of powered that one right through, Kay. She did. She wanted to slam that into the back of the cup. But she also wanted to scoop it up, too. Yeah. <laughs> and that concession was not going to happen from probably a touch over two feet. Yeah, this is a downhill little slider. And this takes a lot of energy, extra energy, to stay, stay focused over these little putts. A good tee shot here is driving either at the center or at the right edge of those trees you see in the distance. Remember, I, we talk about this being an endurance test. They, these, all these competitors played two rounds of stroke play to get into match play, and they're on their fifth match this week. So yeah, Kay, a true test of athleticism for sure. And this fairway slants left to right, so you can definitely hug the left side. That gives you a better opportunity to try to hit this par five and two. And that's just what she did. Two, two fine drives right there. Pretty impressive to watch. Now Wilson, her second 11. This is down the left side. Needs to get a good kick right. It did. And Wilson has a pretty straightforward chip, so be nice to put the pressure on Wilson in shot here. And that's just not going to quite get enough distance. Uh, she needed another six paces or so on that shot. If she wants to go low, then she needs to have enough speed to get it all the way there or she needs to get it over that little hump and then have it feed towards the flag. That was thought out really well. Not done. Oh my goodness. What an incredible shot. And she's playing a, a pretty good amount of left to right break here. This whole green tilts from left to right pretty severely. At least give it a legitimate chance here. Oh. She did. Yep. Wilson one up. Wilson on the tee at 12. You want to keep it down the right side of this hole. And this is headed down the left side of the fairway. Needs to stay out of the left rough. Yeah, it, do, it doesn't. And it, it sits down in that, that thick Kentucky bluegrass that's mixed in with tall fescue. M also with driver. This is on a similar line to Yana. And that's that's a big mistake to hit it in that rough right after your opponent hit it there. Ethan sitting in a bowl, so ball, balls will feed towards the hole. This came out really hot. And that, that so often happens when you're in the rough, you, you end up going from rough to rough. In from the rough. And this is a pretty favorable lie. Also needs to be careful of a little flyer, and that did the exact opposite. Pretty predictable, Amelia, to have those uh, errant shots out of that thick rough. And M is away, but she has definitely the favorable third shot. Uphill bunker shot. This came out really nice. Yeah, got a lot of nice height on that one. Landed softly. All right, M for par 12. Very delif delicate putt here. It's going to break quite well to her right. Um, 
Oh, number 13, come on. I need to talk about her third shot because it was incredible. She was behind the green, all downhill, and what a, what a great opportunity. That's a heck of a four, and, and that wins her the hole. Two down through six. Wilson now two up, heading to 13. Yeah, I think that's a would be ideal. If you have a good number, you can really dial it in. It's sitting on that front right part of the green. This is another good line. Get that slope. It's getting it a little bit. All right, let's see what M can do. 121 yards to this flag. Definitely has the opportunity to put it inside Yana. Is on a good line. And sit, hitting back into that slowly setting sun into the west. Swing. And this a little downhill putt. Sometimes downhill putts are easier to get it to the hole. Got it there, and then some. This would be for her third win in a row. Third hole to win in a row. And creating a really nice little wave of momentum. Now, M, huge par putt. And this is an example where even if you're two down, if you make this putt, you have a lot of confidence going into the next hole. Yeah, really well done. Good job, Sarah M. All right, mere formality, both in with three. Wilson <laughs> maintaining that two up lead, and I think maybe a quick word to her caddy. I can't believe I had to putt that. 14, Wilson set to play. There's a white house covered by three trees on the left side of the fairway, and that should be her aim. Yeah, this morning, um the USJ set this up as a drivable par four, 272 yards. Now the team moved back to 334 yards. Now M. Yeah, hitting the fairway is key on this hole. It's a pretty generous fairway, but if you miss it right, it's very difficult. This is right down the middle with a baby draw. And I think the further you can get down that fairway, so you're sort of just directly in line, parallel with the green and the flag stick is ideal. She may have come up a little bit short of that. Beautiful. A great line. Great shot. Really good, that great technique, just holding off, kind of sawing off the finish. Make yeah, gripping down on this wedge a little bit. Looks like she likes it. Yeah. Yeah, that'll that, that, do. Yeah, that works. Two really good shots there by Im and Wilson at 14. She Both of these players, and with Wilson at almost conceivable distance, Im knows she needs to make this one to stay two down. Really clutch birdie there by M at the 14th. This three and a half feet for birdie, it's gonna break a little bit to her right. And all of a sudden, the pressure's on Wilson saying, hey, I gotta make this putt, otherwise one down looks a lot closer than two up, excuse me. That was pretty clutch. And uh, that's, what, that's what her coach, Ted O, said, that she is a clutch putter. That's a, that's a good uh, nickname that you would want to have. Yeah. 15th hole down the stretch when a nice birdie or par here is gonna mean a lot. Yeah, I think, I think par could win this hole more often than not. And it's just a beautiful hole the way it, it's, it's set up from the elevated tee and the, the fairway just meanders a little left to right. Yeah, 250 yards to that left bunker. So it does come into play if you pull it. Oh. And this is a pull right here. 
Oh, she's uh, gonna get away with she it. She is gonna get away with it. That is not bad. Yeah, if she can land this like 20 paces on, it'll it'll release down to the right. And this is headed towards the left side of the green. Needs a right kick, but not gonna get it. Two will get blocked. No, oh, and that's that's not gonna be the easiest. The way this green is sectioned, the last 20 paces feeding towards the back. You don't need to be aggressive. However, this is to the right. Yeah, that's, whoa, she got away with that. I thought that was gonna be a big miss, but that will be just fine. She's actually in good shape there. It's sticky, it's almost like Velcro. So she has to really hit this with some good momentum. Yeah, something like that. And there's that real acceleration once it hit the green. Amelia just kept releasing out. Otherwise, it's three down with three to play. Yeah, that was really well done. And what's key is when you have a putt that you need to make, you need to be really trusting in, in the speed that you're going to have on this putt. If you're going to have more speed, you got to make sure that you play less break. You can't be doubtful. How about no that for doubt. No doubt at all. And that feels like a win right there. Making that putt, not losing the hole, that was very much like a win and she needed it. Wilson ready to play. 135 yards into this hole location, sitting on the right portion of the green. And a gorgeous shot. That's a great way to start the hole. And you can get away with a little push here. There's a slope to the right that will feed balls back. And this is headed on a great line. A little right gets that slope. There it is. Good call. The hole or to tie the hole. So you have to always be thinking as the opponent watching what's happening that you're prepared to make the putt no matter what. Wilson for birdie. Beautiful stroke. No, you, in a sense, you try to put out of your mind what this means and just put every effort into reading this correctly and giving it your best effort. She knew it immediately. She kind of came out of it and just didn't give it her best stroke and pushed it. Wilson two. Wilson wins the match. Three and two. So the 15-year-old, Yana Wilson, moving on to Saturday's championship match, taking down Sarah Am. I'm here with Yana Wilson, who had an incredible match today, three and two. You started off two down. What was the key to get that momentum shift? Um, I really just try to play my own game and try to play for my own score rather than just like play against my opponent. So I think I was one over and I was trying to get to like five under. So I just tried my best to um, just get my shots close and then make the putts. And that's a really great mindset to have. Many people think you need to play against the opponent, but really it can be playing, you know, against yourself and kind of getting it back. And it's been really hot this week. You've played a lot of rounds of golf. What have you done to stay physically and mentally in shape? Um, honestly, it's all conditioning. So whatever I do in the gym is like perfect for tournaments like these to help myself condition for, to help myself condition myself for like these kind of events and stuff, yeah. And you've played with Sarah in before. How was it to play her in match play? Have you played with her in match play before? What was that experience? I've actually never played with her in the same group. We actually kind of just realized that before we teed off. Um, but I have um, been on like same teams with her in the Junior Solheim Cup. And um, I've seen her play at Wyndham Cup and she's really great. And your caddy, Tate Hanks, how's it been? How's the relationship? Is he a good caddy? All right. No, he's, he's a perfect caddy for me. I mean, we bond over food, so it's perfect. <laughs> well, that's awesome. And how are you going to prepare for tomorrow? Um, probably just do the same exact things that I've been doing. I mean, it's obviously working, so I'll just keep doing what works. 
Well, yeah, keep doing what works. Thank you. Congratulations on a great play today. Back to you, Burko. And there you have it. Clemente, six and five. Wilson, three and two. A 14 and a 15-year-old going to battle it out tomorrow. 36-hole championship showdown. A lot on the line.